Nathan Lamy here from Urban Boxing Studios. Today we're going to talk about boxer shoulder or rotator cuff injuries, help you uh, prevent injury, talk to you about what causes those injuries and hopefully we'll stop you getting those injuries moving forward. First thing we're going to look at is poor technique. Um, we see this a lot in the studios. Um, people send in um, big, wide slingshot hooks Okay. Um, now, the injuries in, in the shoulder are often caused by this wide looping hook. Um, as you rotate your top half, leaving your um, hand or your fist behind your shoulder. Okay. So, the, the most important thing that we want to look at to make sure that we are not um, damaging the shoulder, first and foremost is keeping um, the hand connected to the body. When I say that, we don't ever want to see our hand leaving our line of sight. If it does, we're looping it too far. It, it, you know, one of two things really. One, you're likely to get punched in the face because you've lost all of your guard and protection. But in terms of injury prevention, we want to keep that hand nice and close to our body so it's always in our line of vision. It never leaves our line of vision. Okay, number two, as we hook, we want to lock our bicep, and our shoulder in place. Keeping everything connected and nice and tight to our body. That's going to ensure, you'll notice when I hook, that my hand never gets left behind my body as it can do with a big looping swing shuffle. Okay? So we're gonna keep everything nice and connected and on the lead side, everything nice and connected. Remembering that your hook is a technique used in close range it shouldn't really be used in long range, so there shouldn't really be any need to be looping it all the way around here. The power is generated from the ground up. We have other hooking videos that you can have a look at. I'll pop them in the video as links so you can go and follow those videos and, and go through the complete uh, hooking technique. So we've looked at technique. Now we're going to look at a few exercises that you can do, simple exercises that will help you strengthen those rotator cuff shoulder muscles, all of the stabilizing muscles around the joint. Okay, first one. All I have here is a, a really light kettlebell, four kilogram kettlebell. You don't want anything heavy. Um, you might need something a little bit lighter than that. You don't want to feel like you're under um, carrying too much load. Okay, so we're going to have a nice straight arm. Okay, keeping your arm at shoulder, shoulder height. From here, you're going to take the bar out and bring it back to its center point, okay? Out we go, and bring it back to its center point. Doing 10 on each side, change inside, hold it out straight, around, bringing it back to the center. Nice and simple, 10 on each side. The next exercise that we're going to do, again with the kettlebell, you're going to take the arm nice and straight in front, from here, you're going to raise the kettlebell above your head. Straight arm, bringing it down, controlling it. Taking it back up above your head. Again, 10 on each side. Nice and simple. Arm out nice and straight. Knuckles facing out. Up we go. And bringing it back. Working 10 on each side. For my final exercise, all I have is a bar. And from here, you're going to take the bar from uh, shoulder height and take it back above your head. I'm going to bring it back down to shoulder height and above your head, keeping your elbows at 90 degrees, taking it just behind your head and down. Nice and controlled. Good. Again, 10 of those. Add those into your routine. Okay, we've spoken about uh, technique and making sure your technique's right. We've spoken about um, some conditioning exercises that you can do to try and prevent injuries um, before they happen. Um, but if you are carrying an injury and you do have an injury, make sure you listen to your body. If you've got discomfort when you're hitting the back, 
that's your body telling you that something's not right. So make sure you go and see a professional, go and get the right advice, and they'll give you some strength and conditioning exercises, they'll give you the rehab that you need to make sure that you can come back, work on that technique, um, put the effort in around your strength and conditioning, and hopefully those um, issues then will go away. I uh, hope you found today's video helpful. Um, please like, share, comment, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and press the notifications bell, then you'll be the first to know as and when new videos go live. See you again soon.